Hello everyone, this is Lotarek from Lotarek's Lair. I'd like to show you today my Amiga 1200 with my USB floppy emulator version D uh, cased, cased, right. So, uh, the device is rather small. To comparison I will show you a SD card I have put on top of it, so it's not very big. It comes in a beautiful high quality metal case with my logo underneath, some rubber stands. I think the quality is quite good. In the back we've got two connectors. USB connector to connect a computer that will work as a file server and we've got floppy connector that supposed to be connected to the floppy connector of destination system of course right i think nothing more needs to be needs to be explained in the front we have four leds the first one is a power led the second one and the third one will be explained in a moment now let's focus on the last one the fourth one on pc Jeff created a software, HX Flop Emulator Soft. Let's run it. As you can see, software is running. Settings, USB settings. We see command USB Flop Emulator ready. Okay, if you are ready, prove it to me, baby. Yes, you are ready. You are blinking orange. It means you are ready to accept files from PC and you are ready to send them to the Amiga or any destination system. Okay, let's have a look. My Amiga is turned on. As you can see on my great retro monitor, Philips CRT monitor, of course. Let's have a fun with the uh, video uh, with uh, uh, some ADF loading. Okay, let's start. Lo let's load some ADF file. Uh, let's start from the multiple disk demo. My favorite Batman 12. Okay, disk one loaded. Amiga set to me something that DF0 no DOS. I don't know what does it mean exactly, but I know when you press reset, the Amiga will start loading this sorry will start loading this disk uh, adf file F from pc through the flop emulator to the amiga okay now as you can see demo is loading now it means okay let's blink this means activity floppy drive activity this one this one right and this one means USB communication activity. It means that data data are sent, right? So uh, the most important thing about the device it's only read on it's <coughs> on read only. Uh, maybe it's a small disadvantage comparison to SD flop emulators, but actually let's think about it. All the modern uh, retro computers have uh, disk drives, hard disk drives, and saving to the floppy drives actually is not necessary. That's my opinion. Anyway, installing Workbench from that device is very, very easy. As you can see, my Amiga asked for a disk too. Okay, let's not fail her. Let's play load. Let's find Batman, uh, ba -ba -ba Batman second disk. Okay, we have loaded. I think, oh, we've got over here, we've got info what the files actually loaded. Let's play, uh, press magic button mouse, Amiga's loaded, and voila! USB flip emulator works perfectly, it has loaded our first demo. Let's wait for some disk activity. No disactivity. Um, okay, no disactivity. But anyway, demo is absolutely superb. I really highly, I really highly, highly recommend you 
to have a look on YouTube or maybe on your personal uh, hardware is your choice. Anyway, I strongly encourage you to find some interest in my USB floppy emulator revision D version case. With best regards from Poland, Lotarek. Oh, we have some disactivity. See ya.